Hey guys, today we're going to do a Finds of the Day video. So now, I have a box of bulbs that I got uh, today, which is really cool. Um, so yesterday on our way home, uh, we, we went to my mom's aunt's house yesterday. And I got a lot of cool stuff. I got a lot of cool electrical items. I got a lot of cool old vintage light bulbs, some old vintage light fixtures and other stuff like that. And uh, some junction boxes and uh, some really old unique light fixtures. Eventually, I will have a video of those coming up pretty soon. I have uh, boxes full of vintage light fixtures and some really old ones with the cloth wiring. So those will, those will be there'll be videos of those fixtures coming up pretty soon. So also got a lot of cool old sockets and uh, and some old cords as well that that will also be shown too. But today we're gonna look at the box of bulbs that I got uh, from my mom's aunt. So uh, yeah. So that's what we're gonna look at today. So of course we'll go ahead and go ahead and take the lid off and I'll show you what I got. So a lot of cool various old bulbs in this tote. I guess we'll just set this lid off to the side here. But as you can see, there is a lot of various vintage bulbs in here and a lot of other cool stuff in here as well. So we'll start out with some of these. So these are very cool. I got at least uh, seven of these. And I can't, I, I've never really seen these before. They, well, I mean, I've seen them in the candelabra base, but these are very unique light bulbs, um, and they're very cool. Uh, I'll show you what one of them looks like um, uh, out of the, uh, well, what one of them looks like without the, uh, bat, with them in the bag, but uh, here's, uh, here's what they look like. So these are very cool. Um, these are very high quality bulbs and they're very unique too. So see it's a candle bulb, but it's got a medium base on it, um, which that's very nice. Uh, let's see. Do you have some information on this? Um, um, these are 15 watts, uh, 120 volt made in Japan. Um, so these are pretty good quality bulbs. I like how they have a very nice brass base, but it's really cool because how they are, how these are made. They're kind of like, kind of like frosted at the bottom, and then you, then you, it's a, a flame bulb, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, I have at least seven of these. So these are very cool bulbs. I'm glad to have some of these. These are very interesting bulbs. So we'll, uh, I'm gonna set those off to the side. So I have at least, I have at least seven of these, which these are really cool bulbs. So I'm glad that I have seven of these. I might put these in and use in some of my display fixtures. That would be pretty cool. Also got some other cool ones in here as well, which we'll take a look at these as well. So I have two, I have a total of uh, four of these. So I'll go ahead and take one of these out of the out of this bag so I can show you what they look like. Um, but yeah, these are really cool too. So I think these I think these are flicker flames. I think. Uh, oh yeah, it does have the neon flicker flame in there. So yeah, these are flicker flames, but they have like a stardust coating to them, um, which is really cool. I like these a lot. These are very interesting as well. Let's see. Uh, uh, this is a Sylvania. Uh, it says 120 volt. I don't know what the wattage is. Probably like a 3 watt or something like that. But yeah, very interesting flicker flame bulb with the with a star, uh, stardust coating on it. So I have four of these. The base is a little bit loose on this one. I need to glue the base back on this one, but um, there's that. So it's got a very nice brass base, a very cool, interesting bulb. So I got a lot of cool bulbs. Of course, I have another set of them right here. So I have, as I said, I have four of these. I'll have to test them out and see if they all work. So these are really cool too. So we'll set these ones off to the side as well. Uh, oh yeah, I also have this one as well. This is also a really interesting bulb as well. I've seen these, uh, I've seen other people have these before, but uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. But these are really cool bulbs. We'll go ahead and take this out of the uh, this bag as well. So see if I can be very, very careful with it because I don't want the silicone to come off of there. Uh, but these are really, this is a really interesting bulb. So it's one of those incandescent bulbs with the, uh, with the silicone, uh, the little silicone pattern on it, which this is really cool. It's a nice 
frosted bulb so it's kind of like a rough service bulb with the little with the uh with the silicone blobs on it so this is really cool here's the uh here's the base it's a candelabra base which is interesting usually you would find these in medium base so let's see the wattage of this one this is a 15 watt 120 volt um uh, silicone bulb so this is really cool I like the pattern of this and it has a nice feel to it as well um, so yeah there's that set that off to the side as well and also as you can see I also have some other really cool vintage light bulbs that are in this box a lot of cool old ones and a lot of interesting and unique bulbs that are in here um, I also got some other lights in here as well so I guess we could start off with these next so I got, uh, I found that they had these there too. These are uh, 12 volt um, halogen puck lights. I always like these halogen puck lights. I always think these are unique. I do have a set of these that are a uh, that are a gold version. Uh, but yeah, these are, I always like these low voltage halogen puck lights. I always think these are unique. I don't think these were ever used. Um, of course, halogen three light kit, low voltage under cabinet lights. You got a nice picture on there as well. Um, so surface or uh, recess mount that's pretty cool of course 20 watt halogen bulbs included uh, which is nice of course crisp white natural light and then uh, see uh, hmm uh, I wonder if I don't really see the plug for these I don't know if the plug I think these probably might have been open before I don't really see the plug-in for these but I do see that there are well actually well I don't know if that I think that's the plug-in to those um there's a plug in there um yeah I don't know if this is complete or not I'll have to double check this but this is made by the good the good earth lighting brand um, which I've heard of that brand before too I think my other lights are well I don't think they're by that brand but uh, I think my other puck lights are the West Tech brand but there's those set those off to the side as well uh, now we'll take a look at a halogen bulb so here's a 72 watt 120 volt uh, this puts out 1185 lumens so this is a 100 watt incandescent replacement and it's a 72 watt halogen bulb this is kind of interesting because it's got like a uh, kind of like a like a bluish coating to it and what's also what I also thought was nice about this bulb as well is you can also see the halogen capsule inside as well. So this is a very cool bulb as well. Almost makes me wonder if this bulb was made by GE. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it might have been. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, let's see. We'll take a look at another cool bulb. Here's a here's a really really old one. Uh, this would be for a uh, I think this would be for a car light um, or something like that. But this is this is in a very, this is in the older style of packaging, which is really cool. Um, new, it's new old stock. Let's, let's say it's the GE all glass sealed beam lamp. Of course, General Electric made in the USA, which that's the best part because it is a good quality bulb. I like the older style packaging with these bulbs. These are this is definitely really cool. Oh, I guess it does say what it goes to. It says uh, aircraft um, 100 watt uh, 13 volt par 46. Hmm, that's actually really interesting. Um, we'll take a look at the bulb as well. Let's see if I can. I want to be very very careful with this because I don't want to mess up the packaging here. So. See if I can carefully get this out. Um, I'm be very, very careful with this bulb. Um, look at that. Look at the very nice etch on this. General Electric. Um, there's a model number on there. Of course, 100 watt, 13 volt. Aircraft landing. Made in the USA, which is the best part because this is a good quality bulb. This is a very nice high quality bulb. Oh, look at that. That is really cool. It's a, uh, it's like a spotlight bulb. Look at that. It's got the very nice GE etch in the middle. So I'm glad I got one. I'm glad I found this bulb as well. This is a very unique bulb. Unfortunately, I don't have, uh, 
a 13 volt power supply to power this on but um, but this is still a pretty cool bulb so there's that carefully uh, put this back in its packaging here um, it's nice that it still has the etch on it too so that's good and it's also new old stock so that's really cool that I found that new old stock so we'll put that there uh, next up we'll take a look at another GE ball this is a uh, General Electric 60 watt 120 volt and this has a pinkish coating to it so I wonder if this is one of those um, General Electric soft pink bulbs so you can kind of tell on the camera it's got a uh, it's got a pinkish coating to it which I thought this was interesting as well of course we got the standard base so there's that um, uh, here's another ball here's like a rough service bulb um, as you can see somebody marked 60 watt on this bulb because um, the etch is kind of faded off a bit but this is a uh, 60 watt uh, 60 watt 130 volt um, sunbeam rough service bulb I really like these uh, frosted rough service bulbs I think I have at least uh, I think there's at least three or four of these bulbs in in this tote um, I th or there's probably like two of them in here I'm not sure uh, there's the base on this one as well so we'll set that off to the side uh, let's take a look at another cool bulb um, See, uh, here's another one. Here's a Phillips 40 watt. This puts out 470 lumens. Of course, 120 volt, soft white, made in Poland. Um, very nice, high quality bulb. It's got a very nice soft white coating on it as well, so that's pretty cool. So there's that. Um, here's a uh, let's see. Here's a GE three-way incandescent bulb this is a 50 200 250 oh this is very interesting usually they're uh 50 100 150 but this is actually a 50 200 250 that's actually very interesting this was made in hungary uh this puts out uh here's the lumen output on this so uh, get 615 um then 33, 35, or, yeah, um, and then, yeah, so there's that, um, I don't know if, it almost looks like one of the filaments might be burned out on this bulb, I have not tested this out yet, so, but, uh, there's that, so that's a very interesting bulb, uh, let's see, um, here's another, um, yet another sunbeam, uh, 60 watt 130 volt incandescent bulb um now i've made a video on this particular bulb before this is like the same one uh that i installed in the, one of those cart sheds at the time um, so there's that i'm glad to have another one of these since i lost that other one that broke during the the uh, storm that broke the uh, bulb in the cart shed so it's nice to have another one of these again um Let's see, uh, here's another bulb. I think this one might have been made by Philips. Uh, this is a, uh, as you can see, it's 60 watt 120 volt, made in Mexico. So this is a good quality bulb. But what I'm saying, like, that it looks like it was made by Philips is because it has the, um, the old phone rotary dial base on it, um, as you can see. Which, this is, uh, this is a very cool bulb as well. Of course, there's the, uh, there's a nice glass insulator there. So they, they, this is definitely a really cool bulb as well. And also, I also did find some C9 Christmas bulbs, which I'll, I'll get to those in a sec as well. I'll show you what those look like. So those are really cool. Um, here is a General Electric 75 watt 120 volt soft white incandescent bulb. This is a very nice bulb as well. So uh, there's that one. Got uh in this box we have uh two MR16 halogen bulbs in here. So let's take a look at them. I think they have been used before. It looked like they might have been used on the outside lands on the outside landscape light fixtures at the time. Um, this is a GE 12 volt 50 watt flood. 
Um, so there's that. As you can tell, it's well used. I'll have to see if that works. Um, and then here's another bulb that's in here as well. This one is a uh, 12 volt, 20 watt, um, a generic brand MR16 halogen bulb, which just looks like it is, has been used in a landscape light fixture as well. I'll have to see if this one works as well. So I'll have to test these two bulbs out and we'll see if those work. Uh, so I will have a video of those coming up pretty soon as well. And uh, of course, here's the packaging for these as well. If you wanted to uh, pause and read that, you can. Got some information on here as well. So there's those. So those are uh, those are really cool too. Uh, so you got some bulbs in here. I think these are uh, these are more of a candelabra. I think the or no, I think these are um, I think these are the uh, kind of the C9 base bulbs. These are the Martha Stewart Everyday Garden um, four G50 clear light bulbs. Uh, oh look, for use with G50 and C9 light sets. Wow, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, you could use these in a C9 light set. So I'll, I'll have to have a video of these coming up pretty soon as well. Um, so I can show you what they look like in the C9 light set. Of course, you have some information on these as well. Oh, it looks like these came out. These came at Kmart. Or these were available at Kmart back in the day. So that's cool. Uh, of course, that's what the price would have been at the time. But unfortunately, it has been removed. Um, so there's that. I like the picture of the bulb on there. That looks pretty cool. Let's see, oh yeah, we do have a date code. So these uh, these bulbs are from 2004. So these are uh, these are old. Uh, so you have some information on here as well. Seven watts. So that's the same wattage as the C9 bulbs. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, there is actually four of them in here so we'll take a look at one of them here um, so yeah as you can see they have the c9 base as you can see um, 7 watt 120 volt um, here's the filament design pattern I think these are the same filament design pattern that are actually in the c9 bulbs uh, let me see I'll grab one for a comparison here um, here's an actual C9. Um, uh oh, the filament burned out on that one. Um, but yeah, here's the yeah, it's got the same filament support uh, to it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this bulb is blown out, so I have to take that out of there. I think this was uh, this is more of a newer bulb anyway, so we, it's not an older one. But um, this is this isn't the older one right here, so I have to take that c9 out of there um but there's that so we'll put that um, back in the box here with the other bulbs so there's those so a lot of really cool interesting bulbs but i'll probably yeah what i'll end up doing is i'll put these back in the coat um for now i to start put those back in the tote because we already looked at those um i also have this this is a sleeve for a candelabra uh light fixture so i got a couple of these that are in another tote uh that'll be one of the other totes that i'll be showing with the electrical items that i got um so we'll just set that out for now um let's see here uh we'll we'll look at the c9 uh the rest of the c9 bulbs in a sec here uh, we'll take a look at this bulb now here is a Sunbeam 50 100 150 three way incandescent bulb. Um, I also had one of these at the time, but uh, one of the filament supports burned out in the one that I had, so at least I'm glad to have another one. Uh, I'd probably imagine that this one works. Um, oh, yeah, looks like the uh, the filaments in this one are are uh, are secured, so they're not uh, they're not burned out on this one, so. Yeah, this one should work really well. So there's that one. Move that off to the side. Uh, let's see. Now what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at one of the higher wattage bulbs, which, which is really cool. Here's a, 
a uh, General, or not a General Electric. Here is a vintage Westinghouse 200 watt incandescent bulb, 125 watt, made in the USA, which that's the best part because this is a good quality bulb. So this is a nice 200 watt uh, rough service incandescent bulb. Look at that. It's got the nice rough service, or the nice frosty coating on it, but this is a very nice vintage Westinghouse bulb. So this is really cool. Very, uh, this will definitely, this will definitely put out the heat and it'll definitely put out the brightness for sure. So definitely we'll have to have a video of this coming up soon as well. It does have a little bit of corrosion on the base as you can see, but I think other than that, it probably should still work. But yeah, this is a very, you can see how big this bulb is. This is a very, uh, high quality bulb. So this is a really interesting bulb as well. So I'll kind of put this back in the spot, in that spot there. Um, here's another bulb, which is very cool, and uh, one of my first Moggle Base incandescent bulbs to my collection, which is really cool. So this is a uh, this is a Sylvania three-way Moggle Base incandescent bulb. This is a uh, soft white, 120 volt, burn base down. Um, so there's that. Um, Actually seems like it has a frosted coating than a soft white coating. It's kind of most like the rough service bulb. But look at this. This is a three-way Moggle base bulb. So this is a really cool bulb. I think I do have a three-way socket um, that I can turn this on with, um, especially with all those sockets and electrical items that I got yesterday. So I'll definitely have a way of turning this bulb on. I'll have to look to see if there is a three-way Moggle base in there, but... Um, but there's that. So this is a really old vintage bulb. These uh, these are getting kind of hard to find as well, especially these older Sylvania Moggle Base three-way bulbs. These are quite rare as well. You don't really see Moggle Base bulbs like this anymore because um, everything's you know LED and ink, and then oh well, yeah, pretty much everything's like LED nowadays. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, Oh yeah, here's another bulb. I think there's, I think there's two of these. Um, here's some more neon flicker flame bulbs. Uh, oh yeah, here's a Abaco 120 volt made in Japan. So this is definitely one of those higher quality neon flicker flame bulbs. Which the higher quality neon flicker flame bulbs, I think you get a lot more of a flicker effect out of these ones than the newer ones of today. Um, cause of course the older ones seem to be a lot better. So this is really cool. A nice vintage one made by Abaco. Very nice brass base as you can see. So that's cool. So we'll, uh, put this one back in here as well. I think the other one is a Abaco as well. So I'll take a look at the other one. Let me see. Um, oh, the other one is different. Um, uh, it says 120 volt made in Japan. This one doesn't say Abaco on it. Um, it looks just like the Abaco one, but um, but yeah, there's that one. So got two of those, which are really cool. Uh, let's see. Here's another. Uh, here's another Sunbeam, uh, 60 watt, 130 volt rough service incandescent bulb. So here's another one of those. So as I said, I think there's at least two or three of those in here. Uh, let's see. Here is a, uh, here's a GE 29 watt, um, uh, made in Hungary, soft white halogen bulb. This puts out 430 lumens. So there's that. That's pretty cool as well. Um, so we'll put this one, this one back in there as well. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here's another Moggle base bulb which is really cool. So I have two of these in my collection now. So these are very, these are very cool bulbs. Um, these are, as I said, these are quite rare nowadays. So this is a uh, Detroit Edison Westinghouse three-way incandescent bulb. This has a soft white coating to it, as you can tell. Um, this has 100, uh, 200, 300, of course, 120 volt. Burn base down and made in the USA, which is the best part because this is a good quality bulb. 
Um, very nice model base. And look at that very nice blue glass insulator. I like that a lot. And look, the, the bottom of the blue glass insulator is like hexagon shaped. That is really cool. That's a, this is a very unique bulb, um, these, th these uh, three-way model base bulbs. So that's cool. I have two of these in my collection now. Uh, these are very cool bulbs. Very nice vintage Westinghouse and uh, GE bulbs. So there's that. Um, so we'll take a look at another bulb here. Here is a uh, here's a Sylvania 25 watt and 20 volt candelabra base glow bulb. This has a nice textured coating at the top and a nice smooth coating at the bottom. So this is a very nice interesting bulb as well. Uh, of course also made in USA which is this best part because this is a good quality bulb. So this is a really cool one as well. Oh, it looks like there's another bulb under here as well. If I can see if I can get to it. Um, let's see. Uh, here is a C7 um, yellow, uh, transparent yellow incandescent bulb. This one was made in Korea. Uh, I don't know if this is a GE brand or a, uh, I don't know what brand of uh, bulb this would have been, but but there's that nice C7, nice transparent yellow C7 bulb. So there's that, that back in there. Uh, let's see here. I think this is, uh, yeah, it's another 29 watt one. Um, oh, it looks like we have another C9 bulb in here as well. Um, Oh, that one's burned out as well. I have to take that one out too. This one, uh... oh yeah, this is more of a more of a newer one as well. <laughs> it's unfortunate that a couple of the C9 bulbs that I'm finding in here are unfortunately burned out. I didn't really take a closer look at those. Uh, let me see here. Grab this other one out too. So let's see, uh, this one's a very interesting bulb as well. This looks like a automotive bulb. This is like a GE automotive bulb, which is really cool. Probably an automotive bulb or a flashlight bulb. Um, don't know what the wattage of this is. This is also made in the USA, which is the best part, because this is also a good quality bulb. Nice frosted incandescent bulb as well, so there's that. Um, so we'll put that... Um, back in here as well here is a uh, let's see here's a um, a Phillips uh, 25 watt 130 volt incandescent bulb this is a clear incandescent bulb um, this one was made in Canada um, of course you got the standard base and we also have the uh, the rotary style base like the old phones so that's pretty cool too uh, I, I really like these older Phillips bulbs with the rotary base on the bottom of them. I have a couple of the halogen bulbs that are like that, and now I have some more incandescent bulbs that are like that as well. So definitely glad to have some more of those in the collection as well. It looks like I have another C9 bulb in here. Let me get to it. Let's see if this one... Uh... <laughs> wow, so far all these, uh, all these transparent clear C9s are... Pretty much burned out. I don't know why these are in here, but <laughs> they're all burned out. Uh, I have to get rid of those because um, those are those are no good anymore. Uh, let's see here. Um, here's another bulb that's in here as well. You can grab it. Uh, there we go. Here's a uh, here's a microwave bulb. This is a 15 watt uh, microwave appliance bulb with a C9 base as you can see so there's that um, Put that back in there um, Oh, there's a uh, oh, There's two of them in here. Here's one with a brass base. That's a really cool one. This is probably an older one Yeah, it is an older one uh, this is um, 15 watt 110 volt made in Japan, has a very nice brass base. So this is a higher quality bulb. 
uh, which that's really cool. So there's that. Uh, here is a uh, Sylvania 13 watt uh, CFL spiral ball. Also found this as well. Of course, self ballasted lamp. I think this is a, I think this is a warm white one. I'm not sure, um, but there's that. So uh, I think we'll put this one back in here as well. Um, let's see here. Oh, that looks like a. Uh, Actually, it looks like one of those bulbs that would go in there. Uh, oh, I think, yeah, I think I found the original box to these bulbs. So these are made by Yorkville. Wow. <laughs> that, that's actually really cool. I found the original box to this. I didn't even know that that was in there. That is really cool. Um, wow. 20,000 hours. 120 volt medium flame. That is really cool. So these are made by Yorkville. I have a uh, have a nice preheat CFL that's made by Yorkville as well. Uh, I'll have to put one. I'll put this one in here so I at least have one of the bulbs that goes in here. But yeah, that's really cool. I have the original box for this. That is really cool. So I'll keep this. I'll keep that one in the original box. Uh, let's see here. See if I can put that one back in there like that. Um, oh yeah, here's another uh, Yorkville premium light bulb, longer life, top efficiency, decorative and beauty, finest quality, uh, made in Korea. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, Twenty thousand hours, uh, medium base blue flame. Oh, that's interesting. Um. See, I don't know if that's... Oh, it actually is. Look at that. Um, wow, that is really cool. Wow, th this is a really cool one as well. Look at that. It also has a very nice brass base too. Wow, this, this is new old stock. So, wow. This will, this will definitely be getting its own video as well. I've never had a blue flame bulb like this before. So, that's really cool. Very nice deep blue color. I like that a lot. Uh, we'll put that one back in here as well. So there's that. So we took a look at all the bulbs in there. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at a fluorescent bulb. Now let's see if I can carefully get that out. Here is a uh, fluorescent bulb. I think the etch is on this side. Yeah, it's on this side. Here we have a Philips uh, F13. See if you get that to focus there. Philips F13 T5, uh, 2700K, which is warm white. Um, ultra, ultra line, made in Japan. So this is a very good quality bulb. It's got a very nice end cap des design as well. I like that a lot as well. So there's that. Slide this back in this package. Put that, uh, carefully put that back in here as well. So there's that. Um, see, so we'll take a look at some other bulbs in here. So here's a G, or here's a General Electric 60 watt, uh, 120 volt frosted rough service bulb. This is really cool too, and a really nice old GE bulb. As you can see, this has a lot of end blackening at the top, so this is definitely a burned base down, as you can tell. So there's that. Um, here's a uh, here's a uh, bug light bulb. I don't know uh, the brand of this one. This was made in Poland. Also has a very nice brass base, as you can see. So there's that. Um, a lot of a lot of cool old incandescent bulbs. That's for sure. Um, here is a uh, here's an interesting brand as well. I can't say I've heard of this brand before, but here is a 43 watt, which puts out 750 lumens. This is a FS brand, um, 120 volt. I wonder if that's a date code. It says 2005. I don't know if that's a date code or not, but uh, there's that. Nice, uh, nice halogen bulb there. So we'll set that off to the side. 
Um, here is a GE uh, watt miser. This is a 90 watt incandescent bulb. These GE watt misers are kind of hard to find as well. So this is a really cool bulb. So there's that one, of course, with the standard base. Um, and then I have uh, I have three of these. These are made by Abaco. These are uh, 25 watt, 120 volt, um, flame shaped bulbs. These are soft white, uh, also with a very nice brass base, as you can see. So yeah, those are really cool bulbs. So there's at least there's three of them in there. Um, I'll slip that one back in there. And then I have three of these. These are some, uh, oh, here's a, uh, this is a Osram um, halogen ball. This is 120 volt, 35 watt. Um, looks like it says halo par, um, halo par. Uh, this, is this is a very nice uh, GU10 bulb. And of course it doesn't have the ceramic base. This is an all glassed in bulb. So this is really cool. And then I have some other ones that are in here that are uh, that say that they're made by IKEA. Uh, let me see if I can carefully pull those out. Um, and then here's some right here. Here's some uh, IKEA ones. These are new old stock. Um, so these say it looks like it says Par 16, um, 120 volt. Uh, these are 35 watts, so these are new in package as well. So there's that. Uh, of course, here's the information on this side. If you want to uh, pause and read that, you can. So there's that. Of course, talks about the operating instructions. And then, of course, 10,000 hours. So there's those. I wonder if we have a... Oh, yeah, I think that's a date code right there as well. So it looks like this says... 2004 I think that's the date code right there so there's those I'm gonna slip those out of the way there as well um, see now we'll take a look at a candelabra bulb um, this is a 40 watt um, 120 volt made in Korea nice flame tip incandescent bulb so there's that um, See, here's another one. Uh, this one is a 60 watt, um, 130 volt. So this has a longer life to it. Also does have a very nice brass base, as you can see. So yeah, that's nice as well. Um, so there's that. Um, let's see here. Here is a um, 40 watt, 130 volt. This puts out 350 lumens. So this is a generic branded incandescent bulb. Also looks just like the Abaco ones, but it's instead of the soft white coating, it has the clear coating, um, which that's cool. Let's see here. Um, here is a uh, here is a GE halogen bulb. This is new old stock. So this has never been used. Um, this is very cool. It's in the older style packaging. Um, of course, that's sealed shut. So I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to leave this one new old stock because this is a really cool bulb. Uh, this puts out 570 lumens, 25,000 hours. Uh, this is a really interesting bulb as well. And of course, if you want to uh, pause and read that, you can. I think this one was made in Canada, um, so that's a pretty good quality bulb as well. So we'll set that off to the side. Also got some other interesting bulbs in here as well. Uh, here are some uh, Baymont base um, Radio Shack lamps. Uh, these are 28 volts, 40 MA. So I think these are for uh, flashlights. Uh, so yeah, it does talk about what this is for. So that's pretty cool. Um, see a date code on these. These are definitely pretty old as well. Uh, let's see. Some other stuff in here as well. We also got some uh, 
some very old fuses in here too. That's pretty cool. Don't know what these would be used for. Uh, I don't think these would be used for C9 light sets, I don't think, but there's those. So we'll uh, set those in there. Oh, look at this. We got some lamps by Chicago Miniature. Wow, these are quite old too. Um, that's really cool. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if there's any bulbs in here. Oh yeah, there are. Oh, some of them have been used before, but wow, look at that. Those are really cool. Kind of see what the base style looks like inside of there. So there's those. Carefully put these back in here. So a lot of, a lot of cool miniature uh, bulbs in here as well. And I think there's also, um, there are some vintage landscape bulbs that are in this box as well. Um, I did see some of them in here. Oh, yeah, there are. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, look at this. Got a whole lot of various bulbs in here. Wow, look at that. So I think a lot of these are for the uh, a lot of the older Malibu landscape lights. Look at that. Um, a lot of the older deck lights that they used to have. Uh, wow, look at that. I wonder if it looks like all these bulbs might still work. I don't, it doesn't look like the filaments are burned out. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does look like they all still work. There's also this very interesting one in here as well. That's uh, it's kind of an odd one. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. So there's, there's some of those in there. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Oh, we also have some vintage malibu seven watt wedge bulbs these are low voltage um malibu accessory wow these are very interesting the like um like how they're kind of like a little red on there uh, that's pretty cool 12 volt seven watts so these would be for the malibu deck lights uh, which i think it does say on here yeah it does here's the fixtures that you can use these with so this is cool too. These are also new old stock as well. These have been cut at the bottom before, but other than that, looks like they're pretty much new old stock. So that is really cool. Um, there's those. I don't know if there's any other um, landscape bulbs in here as well. Oh yeah, there are. There's one. Uh, here's a uh, a field electric 15 watt appliance bulb so for another microwave or oven bulb or like or one of those other lights under the microwave um so yeah there's that of course this is more of a newer this is more of a modern bulb but um but there's that let's see here um oh we do have a uh do have another bulb in here as well um this looks like this might be a Malibu bulb. Uh oh, yeah. Well, that's a, it's a little unfortunate, but I think this one is uh, this one's burned out. As you can tell, yeah, this one, this one's not good anymore either. So, there's a couple of bulbs I've been finding in here that are burned out. Of course, I didn't really look through all these until now so there there probably are going to be a couple of bulbs here and there that are going to be burned out um let's see here here's some uh oh yeah here's like another one of those interesting bulbs these are automotive bulbs these are 12 volts those are very interesting. I've never seen any bulbs like that before. So those are pretty cool too. Let's see, um, I think there's some other ones in here too. Here's another automotive bulb. I have another one of these that look like this as well that I got a couple years back. There's that. Yeah, 
Here's a jar full of various uh, bulbs. A lot of, uh, looks like a lot of bulbs that would go for flashlights. And then a, uh, then another oven bulb in there. Oh, and there's also a, uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Some interesting early halogen capsule bulb. That's pretty cool. If you can see that right there, that's pretty cool. So there's that. Um, let's see here. And then, uh, I think there's two packs of these, uh, these Radio Shack bulbs. Um, yeah. It looks like there is. Um. Oh, we also have the Baymont bases for these as well. That's interesting. So we might, uh, I might be able to turn on those bulbs with these bases. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. We'll have to see about those. Um, now what we'll do is we'll move on to the uh, the older and cooler fluorescent bulbs. So we'll start out with this one first. Here's a General Electric F14 T12, 14 watt, made in USA. This is cool white. This is a nice vintage General Electric bulb. So this is pretty cool as well. And then another cool bulb that which is really which is which these are really really rare is i'm finally glad to have one of these um now this is a west this is a 14 watt uh white uh westinghouse made in the usa so this is a westinghouse black ender these are very uh, these are very rare and these are very cool too and you don't really see too many of these um anymore um but as you can see, they have the Westinghouse uh, end caps at the end. And they say Westinghouse on them, which that's really cool. Look at the very nice old pin base style as well. That's really cool. Very nice Westinghouse black ender. That is really cool. It's a little loose on this end, so hopefully, hopefully this bulb still works. I'll definitely have a video of these, uh, of these F14 uh, T12 bulbs eventually when I can get a ballot when I can get the right ballast equipment for them or find a fixture I'll definitely have a video of these coming up um, but yeah these are this is this is definitely worth the whole lot of bulbs as well this nice vintage Westinghouse black and this is really cool so there's that um, so we'll set that carefully there um, I know this video is getting kind of long um, see um i think i might end up making a part two on this since this is getting kind of long so anyways thanks for watching and have well actually no i'll just keep, i'll just keep continuing it um because this is part of the five of the day video so i'll just carefully move these out of the way because i don't want i don't want these bulbs to break so we'll set, especially that black ender the westinghouse black ender um, this box, we have some halogen landscape bulbs. So here's some MR16 bulbs. Lots of various ones in here. We got a, got some Yushios. Uh, we got two Yushio ones in here. Also got one of these Prism ones. This is a 12 volt 75 watt. Oh, wow, that's interesting. This will be an interesting one to take a look at. Um, so there's that one. Um, we have a flood halogen lamp. Uh, this is 12 volt 20 watts. Um, let's see, I'll move these three out here. Oh, we got a Field Electric. Um, I don't know if that's actually what's in here. Uh, it might actually be something different because um, it's marked 20 watt. It would have been a uh, would have been a 35 watt. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's actually a, that's actually what's not in here. That actually what would have been a 
35 watt, but is actually a 20 watt um, landscape bulb. Um, so there's that. Let's see, um, here is a Osterum. Um, there's a Osterum GU10 base halogen bulb. So that's pretty cool. Those those older Osterum bulbs are pretty good too. So there's two of those. Got a Dammer um, 35 watt MR16 bulb. Um, there are looks like there are two of those. Um, actually, the other one looks like it says 20 watts as well. So some of the bulbs aren't original. Um, so we'll put these these ones back in here as well so we'll set that back there um, of course we have some more bulbs and a colored lens I picked this up for my my landscape well lights so I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to be using this lens for nice amber orange lens Here's another uh, automotive bulb for a car light. Oh, it says Cooper lighting devices on here. That's interesting. So there's that. Also a box of various bulbs. Uh, a lot of old automotive bulbs and landscape bulbs. That's for sure. There's a lot of very interesting bulbs. Yeah, these are for a... These are for old cars. So there's that. These ones, let's see, right here are for landscape lights. Um, older Malibu low voltage lighting system. That's really cool. These are 12 volt, 12 watt, uh, Baymont base, um, Intermatic, um, of course. So there's that. These are new old stock. Also talks about the uh, well, it talks about their lenses, and I think it also talks about the fixtures that you can use these in. That is really cool. So there are, looks like I think there's, yeah, there's two packs of these. Um, and then there are some more of the landscape bulbs in these, um, the pin base forms. So I probably will eventually take one of these out of the uh, bag here, and uh, we'll eventually have a video of turning one of these on that would be pretty cool uh, if I can do that we also have some other interesting bulbs in here as well here's a GE 40 watt tubular C9 base bulb so that's pretty cool too made in the USA which is the best part because this is a good quality bulb Uh, here's another one of those uh, landscape bulbs in there. Um, here's a very old 13-watt uh, PL bulb. I thought this was interesting, too, with the uh, how this one bends in there. Uh, this is a uh, PL 110 to 130-volt 13-watt. 6400K, that's an interesting color temperature. This is made by Home Trends, 13 watt PL bulb for desk lamps. And uh, yeah, it says perfect for desk lamps. And of course, it talks about the socket. So there's that. Also got some other various old bulbs in here as well. Uh, let's see, what brand is this? Oh, the etch is uh, gone on this one. It's also got the older end caps. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this would have been, I think this probably would have been a lampy bulb that would have been in here, but I don't know if that's actually what that is. Um, F15T8. Hmm, interesting. Got another set of Malibu bulbs. Uh, of course, they're the exact same thing as the other ones. Oh, and we also 
have some uh, of the Malibu sockets in here as well. That's interesting. These are for, of course, these are for the wedge bulbs. Uh, I'm glad that these were in this box as well. So that's nice to have uh, those too, because those are, a lot of those older Malibu deck lights use those. We'll set that back in there. I don't know what this is, uh, but this probably a fuse. Not quite sure. Put that there. Here's another fluorescent lamp. This is a F4 T5 Cool White made in Japan. So this is a good quality bulb. I think uh, my other, as I showed you before, and my third light bulb display, I I think those fixtures are F4 T5 bulbs, so I think I will have a way of turning this on for sure, because I think those fixtures are F4 T5s, um, I think. So I will be able to turn those two on. There's another one here as well. Um, this is a John Lights. Um, this one doesn't have the large listing on it, but wow, look at those old end caps. Pretty pretty cool bulbs, if you ask me. A lot of a lot of vintage bulbs in here, that's for sure. So we'll set those back in there. Um, oh wow, here's a nice old Sylvania. This is a uh, six watt nine inch um, fluorescent bulb made in Mexico. So that's a good quality bulb. I don't know if the uh, oh yeah, it is what is in here. Very, uh, it looks like it has more of a newer end cap design to it, but still does look like a older bulb. Sylvania Cool White F6 T5, 6 watt, made in Mexico. So it's a good quality bulb, so there's that. Put that back in there as well. Uh, start putting these bulbs safely back in here. Just like how they were. So can get everything to fit back in here. And there's those. Put those uh, those bulbs and connectors back in there. We'll, uh, set that off to the side. Or oh yeah, we'll just move that off to the side right there. And now we'll uh, take a look at some other stuff too. So here's a very interesting bulb. Now you might think this is a another one of those Philips 75 watt uh, halogen bulbs. But this one's an interesting one because it's a Philips Natural Light Plus 75 watt 120 volt flood. Um, this one was also made in Mexico. But this is a Natural Light Plus, which this is an interesting one. So I'm excited to see what this one looks like. Um, also has a very nice brass base. So that's nice as well. Very nice high quality Phillips halogen bulb. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this bulb looks like. Um, don't know if it has the, doesn't have the flood degree pattern on it. Um, but there's that. Uh, let's see, there's some stuff in here as well. Here's a, uh, here's another C7 bulb. Oh, this one's an older one. This one was, uh, Made in Taiwan, so there's that. Put that back in there. Here is a Sigma electric halogen lamp holder. This is a 100 watt. Um, this is new old stock as well. And of course, there's a the little halogen bulb inside. So I do have, of course, I also do have fixtures like this as well, but I have them in the white color this is in the bronze color also has a nice cloth wire design pattern on it as well so that's cool so i think this is definitely this is definitely older uh, we'll set, set this back in here as well so now there's that um, here's a um, newer sunbeam uh, Decor Glow, this puts out 370 lumens. Um, so there's that, let's see, I don't know if that's actually, oh, I think it is. What is actually in here? Yep, it is. 
40 watt, 370 lumens, 130 volt. So there's that. Very nice Sunbeam Glow bulb. So we can get that back in there like that. Uh, oh, here's another one. This is... This is another one of those, uh, those, uh, like those bulbs from Dollar Tree. So this is more of a, this is more of the newer one because then they stopped making the Sunbeam. So that's kind of what that looks like there. Also, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll take this off the tripod real quick. And here's some, uh, here's some old starters, some old FS2 starters and some other components for fluorescent light fixtures as well so those are really cool too so we'll set that back there and uh put this back on the tripod put these back in here just like that and then uh, of course we'll uh as i was saying is we're going to take a look at the um, christmas bulbs as well so we'll go ahead and take a look at these too so carefully pull these out and uh, here's what we got for the c9 bulbs these are in a um, in a nice box which these would have came from walmart at the time got some uh i think a lot of these bulbs that are in here a lot of these c9s i think a lot of these are older um so you can kind of see them so i think a lot of these might be older here's an interesting one Nice old Westinghouse one. It almost sounds burned out, but uh, I'll have to check it, see if it works. Um, see if we can carefully pull that out. Oh, wow, look at that. This, this is a very nice vintage set of transparent um, bulbs. Look at that. Always like finding these older C9s and C7s. Oh, wow, these came from Dollar Tree back in the day. That's interesting. I didn't even know that Dollar Tree sold C9s back in the day. Hmm, very interesting. Um, also, another bulb in here that I think which fell out. Um, here's another C9 base bulb. Don't know what the wattage of this one is. Um... Here, grab it out. Oh, yeah, this orange one I think uh, fell out of here because it's uh, well, huh. that's actually oh, this is a GE one that's interesting. So, the other ones that are in here are the uh, originals, so hmm, interesting. Let's see, I'll, uh, let me see if I can fix this real quick. Put these, uh, I'll put this back in here too. So let me, I'm going to put that back the way I found it there. Or actually, I think a lot of these were actually, the those bulbs were probably sitting on top of there. Um, yeah, I think they were. Um, so we'll set those back in there just like that. And then, I think the rest of the other bulbs, we'll just pull out one of these, because I think the rest of them are all the same brand. But we have some vintage Noma ceramic C9 base bulbs. Uh, these are very uh, old, too. This looks like these were a dollar back in the day. It's really cool. These are Noma C9 bulbs, so these are very interesting. So we're made in Thailand. Um, and there's a, there's a couple of boxes of these in here as well. So, uh, yeah, there's those. So I think, as I said, all these seem to be the same exact bulbs. So we'll carefully slide these back in here if I, if I can. Um, I think these went the other way. Uh, I'll have to get that to get that off to get that to fit in there. So uh, kind of hitting the other one. There we go. 
Oh, this one has all ceramic blues in it. That's pretty cool. Almost sound like one of them. Uh, almost sound like one of them's broken, so I'll have to look at that. Might just have a piece of broken glass in it, but but there's that. Um, so yeah, all these are ceramic colors. And then this one's all ceramic red. So yeah, very, very nice uh, C9 bulbs and various vintage bulbs that I got um, at my mom's aunt's house. So those are really cool. I have to put those back in there. They're not really fitting that well, but uh, but yeah, that, that is, uh, well, I'll just set them out here for now. So I'll have to get those back in there, but but yeah, I'll show you the all of my bulbs that I got. Um, so we'll look at all of them again. So here are all the bulbs that I got. So yeah, definitely a lot of bulbs and definitely a lot more videos to come of all these items here. So yes, there'll definitely be some there'll definitely be some more bulb videos, and there'll also be videos on the light fixtures that I got as well. So stay tuned for that video and the light sockets as well and the electrical items so yeah there it is so as my uh those are my items there so my finds of the day so anyways thanks for watching and have a great day